Which is the most unique football club name in English football, and could you tell how they got their name? We will go first. Sheffield Wednesday, the oldest club in the world. Sheffield's unusual name originates from the fact that, get this, founding workers traditionally had Wednesday afternoon off and would use that time to play. That's how their name came about. Now that we already started on this, how about we delve into the origins of some of the Premier League's nicknames? The Red Devils, the Gunners, the Foxes, are the names really as simple as they sound? Or are there some deep and hidden reason behind the names? Let's take a look. 1. Arsenal, the Gunners The North London club enjoys one of the most acclaimed monikers in the English Football League. The club's nickname is a reference to their origins, having been formed in 1886 by workers from the Royal Arsenal Armament Factory in Woolwich. The factory produced munitions, weapons such as artillery and small arms, and explosives. So can you see where the cannon on the team badge comes from? The cannon was first introduced in 1922 and this has never changed. Despite the club moving from Woolwich, they retain their nickname and logo. The Gooners, often referred to as the club's fan base, was derived from the club's nickname. 2. Bournemouth AFC, the Cherries Many say the club acquired its nickname because of their cherry red shirts. However, the Cherries nickname comes from playing on the site of the Cooper Dean Estate, which was home to a number of cherry orchards. Yep, now you know. 3. Brentford, the Bees The nickname was unintentionally created by students of Borough Road College in the 1890s when they attended a match and shouted the college's chant, Buck up, Bees, in support of their friend and then Brentford player Joseph Gettens. The media misrepresented the chant, later reporting it as Buck Up Bees. The nickname stuck ever since. Who would have thought? From the Bees to the Seagulls. 4. Brighton The club is situated on the south coast of England, an area where an awful lot of seagulls also choose to make their home. The seagull is featured on the club's crest, and they play in blue and white kits, even though there's a story that a group of the club's fans cooked up a plan to respond to Crystal Palace fans chanting Eagles Eagles with Seagulls Seagulls. The nickname swept through the fan base, and in 1977, a seagull was added to the badge and then removed in 1998. 5. Chelsea, the Blues This is an obvious one. The London club has over the years formed their epithet into the Blues, as it has consistently been the shade of their unit and their crest has a blue lion. The Blues, however, replaced the pensioners, which they held into the 1950s because of their association with the famous hospital home to British war veterans, the Chelsea Pensioners. The Pensioners was dropped in the 1950s thanks to coach Ted Drake, a former star player who felt it was an embarrassment. For want of a better name, Chelsea went with the Blues from then on. Not so creative, is it? 6. Crystal Palace, the Eagles Just like many Premier League teams, the London club's nicknames have changed over the years. They were initially nicknamed the Glaziers, a reference to the Crystal Palace that produced steel and glass and where a great deal of the players worked. They changed to the Eagles when the flamboyant Malcolm Allison turned into the administrator, known as Allison's Eagles. Allison also ditched the team's claret and sky blue colors in favor of red and blue stripes to imitate the Barcelona look. 7. Everton, the Toffees The Merseyside club have also enjoyed a number of monikers over the years. The Toffees, however, remains the most common. The name came about when Everton moved to Goodison Park. There are numerous theories with regards to how this Toffee name stuck. However, the most popular is that there was a business in Everton town named Mother Noblets, which was a toffee shop that sold desserts including the Everton Mint. This brought along a tradition in which a toffee lady would throw Everton Mints into the crowd before a match. 8. Fulham, the Cottagers the nickname The Cottagers comes from Fulham's home ground. The stadium, which is called Craven Cottage, was built on a cottage in 1896, which gave rise to its name. 9. Leeds United, the Peacocks The Peacocks nickname stems from the original name of their stadium, Ellen Road, and a public house opposite directly opposite. The ground used to be called the Old Peacock Ground, which was named after the pub opposite the stadium, the Old Peacock. From Elland Road, we hit the road to Leicestershire and meet... 10. Leicester City, the Foxes Leicestershire, which the club hails from, was well known for foxes and fox hunting, and the moniker honors that tradition, making it an easy pick for a nickname. The club first added a fox to their crest in 1948, although the two riding crops, which used to appear behind the club's fox logo, have been removed in these more enlightened times. 
Since then, Leicester City have been known as the Foxes. 11. Liverpool FC Liverpool, like Chelsea, have an epithet dependent on colour, the Reds. The Merseysiders have played in their red kit since 1894, even though they at some point used blue packs, which clashed with neighbours, Everton. The full red kit, including shorts and socks, wasn't introduced until 1964, when manager Bill Shankly decided to change the kit. He thought red would be frightening for opponents. The club also enjoys another nickname, the Cop. It gained the name from a battlefield in South Africa called Spion Cop, where a local regiment had suffered heavy losses during the Boer War in 1900. In 1906, the club erected a new stand made of cinder and brick, and a local sports editor, Ernest Edwards, came up with the name to honor the fallen soldiers. Well, now you know. 12. Manchester City, the Citizens Nothing interesting here. Manchester City may be the most successful club in English football in the last decade, but their nickname is uninspiring to say the least. The Citizens is simply an adaptation of their city name. The only bright side, it could also imply that Manchester City fans are citizens of Manchester, which could be considered a snipe at Manchester United, who have many non-local fans. 13. Manchester United, the Red Devils This is an interesting one. Man United's Red Devils nickname actually stems from Rugby League back in 1934. Salford's Rugby League team toured France and won all six matches. French journalists said they played in a dazzling and ruthless fashion, earning them the name Les Diables Rouges, translating to the Red Devils. Legendary United manager Sir Matt Busby apparently liked the nickname, thinking the reference to the devil sounded intimidating. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how one of the most iconic nicknames in world football came to be. From one of the most successful to one of the most loved clubs in English football, Newcastle United. 14. Newcastle United Magpies There's no real story behind Newcastle's moniker, the Magpies. It's believed that the celebrated, highly contrasting jersey of black and white is the thing that motivated their most basic epithet to date, even though one other theory goes like, two Magpies would come to the northern stand of the stadium and brought the club luck. The supporters grabbed onto this and called themselves the Magpies. Admit it, it's a sleek name. 15. Southampton FC, the Saints Southampton enjoy one of the most loved moniker in England, the Saints. The epithet gives close consideration to their underlying foundations. St. Mary's Church of England Young Men's Association Football Club was founded in 1885. The church team soon became St. Mary's FC before ultimately morphing into the present-day Southampton FC. The Saints nickname reflects the church origins of the team, and delightfully in 2001, the club christened its new home, the St. Mary Stadium. The church still exists and is not far from the stadium. 16. Tottenham Hotspur FC, Spurs The North London club are the only team in the world of professional sports to have the name Hotspur. The origin is quite complicated, but we will work with it. The name stems from an English knight, Sir Henry Percy, who was named Hotspur because of the way he charged into battle digging his spurs into his horse. The Percy family had ties and owned land around the Tottenham Marshes. When the current Premier League club was founded in 1882, the local people knew that they needed to use the name Hotspur for the club. Actually, the official name of Tottenham Hotspur is the Lily Whites, but it isn't exceptionally intriguing, only a gesture to the shade of their shirts. Still in London, 17. West Ham United, the Hammers West Ham United have always had their classical crest with two crossed rivet hammers since their formation. The team was formed from the Tam Ironwork team, with surrounding neighborhoods heavily involved in the shipbuilding industry. You would hear all sorts of hammering echoing all around, which is where the rivet hammers come into play. West Ham United have also been nicknamed the Irons, with both names being officially recognized by the Premier League club. 18. Wolverhampton Wanderers Wolves the straightforward shortening of Wolverhampton doesn't exactly make for an interesting explanation, but Wolves are also known as the Old Gold from their shirt's traditional and distinctive color. Which is your favorite nickname in world football? Let us know in the comments below.